Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at symptoms of a bad water pump. Well, the primary function of the water pump is to circulate coolant to regulate the engine temperature. It will circulate coolant from the radiator to the engine block and cylinder head. It will also circulate coolant to the heater core. So, water circulation to the heater core, to the radiator, to the cylinder head and engine block is facilitated by the water pump. Right here you can see there are multiple types of cooling system water pump. So the cooling system water pump ensures coolant flows evenly throughout the entire cooling system. When you look at the principle of operation, the water pump has different components. For example, it has a pulley that will be attached here. There is a V-belt pulley that is driven by the crankshaft that will be attached here. That will drive the shaft. This is the water pump shaft. And the water pump in here, it has bearings and seals. There is a dynamic seal preventing leakage of coolant to this side. And there are bearings to support the shaft. And on this side, we have impellers. In there, down there, there are impellers that are driving the water. So when this is spinning, it will suck water from the radiator, which is supplied by this. The lower hose of the radiator will be connected to this passage. It will suck coolant from the radiator and then it will discharge it to the engine block via this passage. So this is the principle of operation. In order to do that, in order to facilitate this flow, there are impellers that are attached to the shaft. So these impellers, they force water from the lower hose of the radiator into the engine block. Even though there are different types of, even though the shapes are different and the construction is different, the principle of operation is the same. These vents, these impellers, they are the ones that are pushing coolant to circulate throughout the cooling system. And as you can see, it is driven by a V-belt. When the engine crankshaft is spinning, it will be belt connected to the shaft, and then it will spin the water pump. So every time the engine is spinning, the water pump will start circulating coolant. If you see this large water pump, principle of operation is the same. This is where the impellers are. When you, when you look at it here, we can see the impellers. Impellers are visible there. And then when the shaft is rotating, see, impellers are spinning. So it will suck coolant from the lower hose of the radiator, which is connected here. And then it will discharge it to the engine block side. So this is the principle of operation of the water pump. Now, when these water pumps go bad, there are always some indications. Let's have a look at some of the top indications. The number one indication of a failing water pump is leakage, coolant leakage coming out of the water pump. There are indicator holes. For example, if you see here, there are indicator holes. These indicator holes are there to indicate if there is a seal failure or not. If there is a seal failure, coolant will start leaking to the shaft bearing side, and then it will drip out of this holes. See here, there is also another hole. Here we have another hole. So coolant will start dripping out of this hole. So that kind of coolant leakage is an indication of a failing water pump. For example, if you have a look at this large water pump, see here, here there is an indicator. Here there is a hole that is indicating. And even if it comes close, you can see that there is some drippage of the coolant leakage from water pump failure. So as water pump is failing, you see water coming out, coolant coming out of the, this hole, this inspection hole, that will be an indication of a failing water pump. Another indication of a failing water pump is engine overheating. Obviously, as we have said previously, when the water pump is functioning properly and when water circulation is ensured by the water pump, engine operating temperature will be maintained. But if the water pump is not circulating coolant, if the water pump is somehow reduced in its performance, that will lead to engine overheating. So the other symptom of a bad water pump is engine overheating. And the third indica indication is noisy operation. If you see noise coming from the water pump side, as you run the engine, if there is a, some kind of unusual noise emanating from the water pump, that could be an indication of a failing water pump. You could be hearing some whining noise, it could be some grinding noise, or it could be some squealing noise. 
well, irrespective of the type of the noise, if you hear that there is some noise, that is an indication of a bad water pump. For example, if the bearings in here are going to fail, they are going to cause a squealing noise as the water pump is driven. If you hear some uh, sirening kind of squealing noise coming out of the water pump, that usually indicates a bearing failure. So that is another symptom of a failing water pump. The fourth symptom of an uh, indication of a failing water pump is a wobbling pulley. Now, when the engine is operating and when you manually rotate this also, there should not be any wobbling on the pulley. However, if the water pump pulley has started to wobble sideways as you are spinning it, that could be an indication of an internal wear or internal damage. This usually happens when there is wear occurring at the shaft and when there is some damage at the bearing, that will cause uh, this pulley to wobble. So it means clearance has increased and that has to be repaired or that has to be replaced. So wobbling pulley is another indicator of a failing water pump. The fifth, in, the fifth indication of a failing water pump could be temperature fluctuation. Now, if the water pump is not doing its function correctly, that will lead to engine temperature fluctuation. If the circulation is somehow not properly undergone, that will lead to somehow spiking temperature and uh, followed by a gradual decrease in temperature. So that kind of fluctuation will indicate that there is some problem with the coolant circulation that is usually caused by a failing water pump. So if the temperature gauge is sometimes reading low and sometimes it spikes and then goes back immediately, that could be an indication of a failing water pump. The sixth symptom of a failing water pump is frequent low coolant level. If the coolant level inside the expansion tank or coolant level inside the radiator is always reducing, if you have frequent low coolant level, that is an indication of a failing water pump. We have said previously that if there is a problem with the cooling, if there is a problem with the water pump, that could be a leakage, that frequent leakage, that leakage of that leakage and seepage of water that can lead to low coolant. Or if it is not circulating properly and somehow engine is overheating, that can also make the coolant to expand and then overflow through the expansion tank or through the overflow pipe. That could cause low coolant level. So low coolant level, frequent low coolant level is also an indication of some type of problem associated with the water pump, some restriction, some circulation problem or something that can lead to low coolant level. The other problem is if you have taken out of the, if you have removed the water pump and then inspect the impellers, if there are mechanical damage, if there are excessive corrosion, that can be an indication of failing water pump. So if you take it out and you see if some of them are chipped, if some of them are corroded, and if some of the impellers are broken, that is also another indication of a failing water pump. Well, this is usually, this, this can only be done if the water pump has been removed. You can have a look at the impellers uh, to see if they are in good shape or not. So that is the seventh symptom of a failing water pump. The other indication of a failing water pump is when there is steam coming out of the engine bay. If there is extreme temperature inside the engine, that can lead to engine overheating, as we have mentioned previously, and that will cause steam to come out of the engine bay that could be an indication of a failing water pump. So if the water pump is not circulating coolant as it should, that can lead to boiling of the cooling, coolant boil, that can lead to conversion of the coolant to steam, and that can eventually lead to engine failure. So the steam or vapor coming out of the engine bay could be an indication of a failing water pump. And finally, if there is a belt squealing. If there is some problem with the shaft, if the shaft is highly resistant to rotation, that can cause belt squealing. For example, on this water pump, this is not moving at all. So it indicates that the bearings have failed. It indicates that some rust has corrosion, have made it to seize. So if there is a, if, if the water pump has this kind of failure, the belt will slip instead of pulling the water pump it will start to slip and that warm water pump may cause the belt to squeal so if you hear a squealing noise or some kind of slippage coming from the water pump fully side that could be an indication of 
a damaged water pump. So dear viewers, these are some of the top indications of a failing water pump. In order to summarize, there are nine things that we have discussed in this video. The so number one is coolant leakage from the inspection hall. If you have a coolant leakage from the inspection hall, for example, right there we have an inspection hall, right here we have an inspection hall, right here, right here we have an inspection hall. So if there is a leakage from the inspection hall, coolant leak, it is an indication of a failing water pump. Engine overheating is another symptom. Engine noise, especially coming from the water pump side, failing water pump can some, sometimes cause unusual noise. That could be an indication of a failing water pump and uh, wobbling pump pulley if there is a wobbling pulley that could be an indication of a failing water pump we have also discussed that fluctuation of engine temperature if there is frequent fluctuation of engine temperature that could be gauge fluctuation that could be an indication of water pump failure frequent low coolant level and visible damage or corrosion on the water pump components and uh, sometimes a steam or vapor coming out from the engine bay and finally, belt squealing are some of the top symptoms of a failing water pump. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you in this video. If you like this video, please smash the like button. Do consider subscribing if you haven't already and turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.